Hey guys, so today I have my what's in my nail emergency rescue bag. Um, I talked about this when I did my cuticle care video and a lot of people wanted to see it. So I thought I would do it for you today. It should have been up last week, but uh, things got really busy. In my purse, I keep this bag. It doesn't match my purse at all. My purse is brown. I only have one purse. A uh, girl at work thinks that's really weird. She wants to like donate me a purse. And I keep this in there at all times because I am never anywhere without my purse and I can always grab the stuff that's in it. There are a few things in here that aren't nail related, just things that I don't want to have to fish for in the bottom of my purse, but yeah. The bag is an Ipsy bag from a long time ago. I think it was like the first February that they did Ipsy bags. So I kind of recycle these for all kinds of purposes, different purposes. Opening it up, um, I have my eyeglasses cleaner in there and lip balm, just things I don't want to have to fish for. Really, it's not anything super special in here, but it is things that I find that I kind of need to have with me on the go. Um, there was a smaller travel size lotion in here, but I finished that up um, just this last week. So let's talk. The first thing in there is the Burt's Bees Cuticle Cream. I talked about this in my cuticle care video. I like to keep this on hand um, just to rub on my cuticles whenever I'm thinking about it. Uh, they are very, very, very horribly neglected right now and I'm starting to get hangnails, uh, which I haven't had in such a long time. So I like to have this with me so that I can just keep putting it on my cuticles whenever I notice that they're dry to try and keep hangnails and stuff from happening. On the off chance that I do get a hangnail, I keep nail clippers in my purse so that I can clip off the hangnail whenever I find it so that I'm not picking and peeling at it. These are kind of dull, I need to get better ones, but it's just something good to have that's like always at your disposal in case you have any kind of major hangnail issues. Um, another thing that happens with me is if I have a break, usually because I keep my nails very squared off, I usually just get breaks in the corners. Um, if a corner breaks off and I have a sharp edge, I will want to like touching the sharp edge and then I'll want to start picking at it and pretty soon I've peeled my whole nail off because I am a reformed peeler then I do relapse every once in a while. So I keep a glass nail file in my purse. This is a little itty bitty tiny one. I got like a three pack off of eBay and there's a giant one and then a normal size one and this little itty bitty one. And if I have something that broke off, like a corner of my nail broke off, I will take my nail file and I will round off the edge take away any like jagged sharp corner or any um, loose piece of nail that's about to come off. Uh, just that I don't end up picking at it and this actually also helps immensely at letting my nails grow and me not peeling them off. And so I don't have anything that feels like unusual I guess to mess with, I won't pick it off. So I keep a glass nail file. I like glass nail files a lot. I like them a lot better than regular like sandpapery nail files I guess. I feel like they're not as damaging. I, that's just like I feel like I have no proof of that at all um, but I also think they do the job a little bit faster and cleaner so keep that in there and the last thing that I keep in here which is kind of a recent addition has saved my butt like three times in this last week because I haven't been taking good care of my hands and this is the Orly um, nail rescue kit so pretty much the way my nails break is I ha will have a nail crack and like the whole corner or whatever will bend down and be all like floppy I guess but it won't actually rip off yet and it's mildly salvageable. So this is awesome. It is a brush on nail glue and a little acrylic powder and then this little cheap square file thing. And you pretty much put the glue over the crack on your nail and dip it in the powder while it's wet and let it dry and it hardens and holds that split or you know, floppy broken piece or whatever together so that you can actually salvage the nail and not, you know, lose a whole corner of your nail. And um, you, then you have this little two-sided file buffer thing to kind of smooth it out so it's even with the rest of your nail. This is amazing. Uh, like I said, it saved my butt multiple times just in the last week, so I highly recommend this if your nails are very prone to breakage. So yeah, that is what's in my little nail emergency rescue kit. I hope this was helpful for you guys and that you guys enjoyed it, and I will talk to you later. Bye.